Right then, hi everyone. New video for this week. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so in the frame there, this is the box for the Technofix car elevator. This is pretty old. But as you see, the box is uh, pretty beat up. Um, which of course keeps what's inside it in relatively like pristine condition so there we have that first view there um, there's the end of the box there Technofix number 266 okay uh, here another view well this, this is actually saying like this car park and that's basically what it is but also we have a nice sort of view in the background of buildings and the uh, and cars uh, over and under bridges and on the other side I think it's the same isn't it I wasn't sure about that but it looks to be the same so we'll take this out of its box and we'll show you how, what it does Okay, so this is what it looks like as it's folded up. Okay, now that's how it looks. Um, if I can just zoom in on the uh, background here, it's pretty good, I think. So, yeah, we have uh, there's a car park there okay with the glass windows and then there's the skyscrapers all over the place there's actually a steamboat but you won't see that until it's working <coughs> okay <coughs> and it comes with uh, two tiny cars tin plate cars they're free rolling there you go that's what they look like Little tiny cars, one red one. I don't know, they don't really look like cars, do they? Too many windows and one green one. And the back of this has the clockwork mechanism. There we have it there. You see? So, what I'm going to do, get this out of the way for the time being, because we'll need it later. So, this. We have one piece of track extends. Okay, so whether this will fit in the frame, I have no idea. Probably won't. But we can have a go at least. Now, so uh, the clockwork, as I say, is at the back. We'll put one car here. That will roll down. And uh, I'm not sure about this one because I've only ever done this once. I've never actually had it running on a flat surface before. So we'll wind it up. See if we can make it do. And, it, and I haven't oiled this either. It is, as it came out of the box. So there we go. So it picks one car up. And then shoves it to the, and then there you go. That's how it goes. Pretty crazy, don't you think? If you watch the mechanism happening there. I think it's pretty crazy. <clears throat> So, did uh, car park work like this? I have never known anyone to work like this. Very strange, is it my opinion. Would you like to see it again? Because I would. <laughs> I think it's cool. Just 
German mechanism, eh? West Germany. That's pretty good, isn't it? What do you think? Oh, dude. I think it's good. <coughs> And I haven't oiled this at all as it came out of the box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just that. So there you go, <clears throat> that's the Technofix car elevator, for anyone who, uh, I've seen this before, I've, I've often wanted to buy one, but uh, never seen one with the box, and never one in such good condition as that with the original cars, which makes all the difference, as I'm sure you can agree. So, I'm going to bring this down here now. And so, I have two small tin plate cars here to show you, okay. So, <clears throat> the first one I have is this very tiny car. This is a tiny, tiny car. It's first of all, grief, yeah. Now, I'll zoom on in it because it is so tiny. But mysteriously, it's the same scale as in the video I showed you before with the gas stations, part two, or was it part? No, part one. This tiny gas station I have, I showed you the minute car with it. But hey presto, look, this is the right scale for it. So that's pretty good, I think. These are both German, both West German. <coughs> I was just really pleased to find a car that actually fits with the gas station, so <coughs> I think that's pretty good. Don't you? Anyway, you've seen a gas station before, but we haven't seen is uh, the car. I only got this last week. It was super expensive. It came from Denmark. <coughs> mm. So, let's show you this. How it is. It's surprisingly heavy. <coughs> for the size of it. Uh, yeah, very small, but also very heavy. <coughs> Which I can't work out. Why it's so heavy. It is tin plate. The base is actually maybe not, I don't know. I'll show you the base, it's like this. You see, I don't know why it should be as heavy as it is. But there we go, with that one. And then we have this, this one here. Japanese tin plate, friction drive, Jaguar Mark 6. Now, I asked my friend Raj what he, because he knows everything about cars, because he's a professional mechanic. He's never come across a Jaguar Mark VI. And so, there is one. He was quite excited to see this yesterday. So, yeah. So, this is Japanese. Fiction drive. I think it's quite good. I like that. That wasn't cheap either. <laughs> sometimes I get things cheap, sometimes not. So yeah. See? 
has uh, metal wheels at the front and uh, rubber wheels at the back. But yeah, it's pretty uh, nice condition, wouldn't you say? I would say it was. Yeah. There seems to be some recycled tin going on in there. Green and yellow, which uh, is also exciting. Recycled tin. Yeah, so that's pretty good, huh? So anyway, that's the video today. Um, <coughs> I'd just like to point out that I've sent... Uh, if, you, if you're watching Laszlo, your parcel went out yesterday. <coughs> Johnny Roman's uh, Christmas countdown package will go out next week because I have to unpack it and repack it because the Santa car is making a noise inside, rolling about. And I need to, you know, not have it doing that really. And uh, yeah, so thanks everyone. And uh, catch you next week with another video. Might well be the Soviet era clockwork train. Who knows? Okay, thanks a lot. Bye!